Um, the next, next part is a spectrometry and how the spectrometer actually works. <clears throat> it's just a simplified diagram. You can find the other uh, photos or the diagrams of for this spectrometer. And but just simply said that an spectrometer is a, um, it has a chamber which is in the vacuum as a vacuum and then it has one heater here this is an element or the heater heater then then uh, this is where the sample enters into the system into the machine into the gun and then there are two magnets on the both side and here we have two ion accelerators and there is one detector also here detector so once the electrons the enter the sample actually enters from here, the spectrometer is owing the the frequency or abundance of an uh, element in, or a particular amount of the different ions or the uh, isotopes of the element into the sample. So once you put the sample in. This is how actually the spectrometer works. So it, it is heated up first, and so as it, then it is uh, bombarded by a bunch of the electrons. So and then, then it will be ionized. It become ionized, ionized. Then the ionized uh, sample will be actually passed to then. Uh, ion accelerator then through electric plates and then passing through the electrical plates then it is when it reaches to the magnets these actually will be deflected by the magnet it depends if they are charged or what charge they are carrying in um, so when it is actually these rays of the charged or ion ions they are moving through the magnet based on the how massive they are and they will be separated if they are they are deflected uh, less less deflection if they are their mass is higher and they will be deflected more if the mass is less and if they have no charge or neutral they will just pass through <clears throat> the more uh, of these ions is re received by the detector it shows of course the higher abundance for that specific thing so after that the data of the abundance over the atomic mass or the atomic mass will be shown on the uh, graph on this kind of the graph you can find the abundance like the stick lock graph like this it shows like for example it shows one percent i don't know 25 percent or 0.5 percent the percentage of the abundance relative abundance will be shown and also the atomic mass is shown by the u um, or it will be shown by mass over the charge of the atom for example this one uh, like chlorine uh, has two isotopes uh, with the cl35 with the abundance of 75 percent and the other one is the chlorine which is 37 uh, atomic mass 37 and 25 person which is the abundance we have to calculate the relative um, atomic mass atomic mass so what can we do here is to just 35 should be multiplied by 75 which is its abundance and then plus the other one, uh, 37 times 25. And then once you calculated this, it should be divided by the amount, sum of the abundance, the total abundance, which is not here, which is 75 plus 25, which is in this case is 100. 
So the overall answer for this is 35.5. So this is the relative atomic mass. Let me give this one to you. They don't mention the name of the element. Um, you have to know which uh, element is this is by looking into the periodic table. 